Alright everyone, so today we're going to plant some trees and uh, this is a spot right here that I would like to espye some trees. Um, you can see right there is a plum and that's on a standard rootstock and we also have down here another plum that my friend Devin grafted for me and uh, we're going to plant this little tree right here and it's going to be a nice little pairing to that other plum tree and they're going to be a spy aid and a two-tiered system along the fence here. Coming from this wire is going to be this kiwi vine that will then come up to here and go all the way down to this end here and uh, kind of act as a grapevine. So pretty cool. Um, and I want to get these trees in the ground right now because this is the perfect time to be doing such things, planting trees. I'm also going to put a fig in the ground in just a moment here, so bear with me. We're going to put this in the ground first, this plum tree, and I'm going to show you guys the differences between planting a plum tree like this and planting a fig tree. There's a slight difference. I'm going to show you guys how I plant a tree, and uh, that'll be that. Um, but I just want to make sure that you guys know that today is quite cool. Um, I got long sleeves on. We have a very cool uh, next couple days coming in because we have a storm system, some kind of cold front, a storm system. We're getting lots of rain, not that much sun. This is the perfect time to be planting things. We're just now getting into the fall weather. So early September to mid-September is when that happens here in Pennsylvania on average. And usually a, fl a switch will flick and we'll be into the fall in no time. So. That's the goal, is that uh, I'm going to plant this tree here. We're not even going to need to water it in because it's going to get, we're going to get an inch of rain tomorrow. So I'll water this guy in this hole here. We'll plant it. And uh, this will be literally the perfect time to plant our trees. And then since we're still really in early September, we can at least get some kind of growth before these trees go dormant. And um, that's the plan. So I'm going to plant this tree, put you guys down for a second. We're going to put the tree in the ground. And then we're going to move on to a fig tree and show you guys the differences. So hold on one second. All right, so there we have it. Our plum tree is planted. It took me two seconds. We dug the hole. And uh, we planted this plum tree, guys, at the right depth. And that's what I want to focus on in this video. We planted this plum tree at the depth of the previous soil line. So wherever the soil... Wherever the soil line was in this container, we planted that at the same level as we did this tree here. It's pretty important. I could have planted it deeper. I could have, because the graft's all the way up here. Uh, but I like a higher graft, so this uh, seems to work out pretty well. And then the one thing I want to mention to you guys is that with any of these trees that we plant, all of my trees, I have piled up the mulch in many many layers it's chop and drop this is how to feed your trees we want to remove any weeds that way remove all the competition and over time that will amend your crappy soil if it is uh, really not that great we could throw a, a, a bag of compost on this a bag of worm castings speed that process up but you can see here I have tons of mulch already ready to go this stuff will break down. We'll be continuing this process. We'll add more wood chips, all kinds of things. And this will be perfect for the fertility of this tree in the future. It also will keep in the moisture. It's just a no-brainer, guys. I don't care where you live. You need to be mulching your fruit trees. You need to be mulching your trees in general. All of your plants, perennial plants, they do so much better with that mulch. Anyway, let's take our shovel here, guys. We're going to go over to the figs. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm planting the figs. All right, everyone. So now we're going to move on to the fig tree. And this is the location that I've selected here uh, for this particular fig tree. Now, there's a lot of things in the way, particularly these, these containers here. And then there's plants along in this bed here that I have behind the raspberries and the blackberry bed. Uh, most of that is not going to be here next year. Um, there's a few things in, in motion here. Essentially, all the containered plants I have against the house on this side of the, of the house is not going to be here this year. Um, we're going to either up-pot them into larger pots 
put them on the patio or plant them in the ground. Um, a couple of these raspberries, they'll be planted somewhere. Most of these figs will be planted somewhere. These uh, ornamental ficuses here will be put in the house somewhere. And that is going to free up a lot of space along the house. And this is the perfect microclimate that I have found for my part of the, uh, the country or my part of the world. It's too cold here. And I've done a video on this. Everything I talk about, including site selection and why I've planted those trees, these fig trees, in the appropriate site selection. So you can go back and watch that video. I think it's probably sometime in May or early June that I did that video this year. But now that I have my site selection um, selected and why I've chosen it there, I want to mention that one little short tip. So we're going to plant this tree in that hole there that I haven't dug yet. But we're going to plant that over there with the protection of the house, protection of these rocks. And then we're going to plant the thing quite deep. Um, we're going to probably plant this about up to here. So on the plum tree, we planted it level with the soil. So this was the, the top of the soil. Now I want the top of the soil to be about here. Right? So all this new growth will be above the soil. Um, if for whatever reason this stuff dies back in the wintertime, gets killed off, it can then re-sprout from the base like most fig trees do. But I think this is a really good um, protected area. This gets afternoon sun, really warm during the day, uh, which can really affect my trees during the, the freeze and thaw cycles that they go through through the winter time. But we're gonna get into that in another video. I'm gonna talk about the freeze thaw cycles. I'm gonna talk about wilt proof, this product that I'm gonna use to help protect my fig trees through the winter. But that's what I wanted to get across to you guys is that I'm gonna plant this tree at this height. Now, if I lived in a, a place that didn't have really uh, lots of rain, it was quite warm. So if I lived in Arizona, California, um, I would plant my tree deep as well. So I would do the same thing. Even though um, you know, I'm in a cold place and I wanna protect the base of my fig tree here, I would do the same thing in a warmer climate. Why? Because it's gonna have more water that way, right? You can plant these things quite deep and just like my air layering that I've done and showed you guys, roots will form along these branches here, which will create a much, much stronger plant earlier. It's the same thing with tomatoes. If I were to instead bury this tomato stem sideways, it would form a much stronger root system. So it's the same thing with the fig guys and that's why we're doing it like this. And that is the big distinction that I wanted to make in this video. Now, if I lived somewhere uh, like Florida or the South, if I lived in Louisiana, a place that gets a lot of rain, it's quite warm, the risk of my fig tree dying in the wintertime is quite low, I would plant them higher up. I would build a whole mound, and I've done that out in the open here with my fig trees in the ground over here. Um, I've mounded up the soil. Why do, I mount, why do I mount up the soil? Well, we get tons of rain, 40 inches of rain. I don't have to water my fig trees here, guys, at all. You know, they're a subtropical species that originated in the desert. It's just not a thing. So once they become more mature and established, there's absolutely no reason to water these guys. And if, in fact, you want less water for fruit quality purposes. We want the tree to grow less. I'd rather have more fruit and more vigor um, at a certain point this branch here which is completely green needs to start turning brown right it needs to start preparing itself for the winter which is exactly what it's doing so we don't want these trees really to grow all that much and all that excess water is going to make them grow and grow and grow and not put out any figs so if i lived in florida louisiana georgia southern georgia that's exactly how I would do it. Maybe in the Pacific Northwest as well. I know there's a few areas over there that's quite rainy. Um, you know, it's still mild in the wintertime, so that's what I would do. But anyway, guys, that is the video um, that I wanted to share with you. My little tips on how to plant a fig tree 
how to plant a regular tree. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.